Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku with your Sky Tower radar forecast. All right, good Saturday morning. Made it to the weekend and all eyes on a cold front moving into the state of Florida. It will have some impacts on our weather primarily just making things a little bit more unsettled. We know how much we need the rain. Certainly don't need the rain to impact to too many of those outdoor plans. So we'll talk about it uh, right now at the door. Uh, things are pretty mild at 69. We're starting to build up our cloud cover a little bit. Winds are light, but they will kind of pick up in speed and intensity the later we go. We'll start you off with some weather headlines. Weekend cold front is beginning to move in. That's going to mean scattered rain, a possibility we think the later we go in the day. So better rain odds back half of the day this afternoon and evening. And then tomorrow, same kind of deal. And tomorrow is a totally different day. Breezy, we turn cooler by maybe, what, 15, 20 degrees, perhaps. And we do stay unsettled. And then next week, we go from highs in the 60s to mid-80s in just a few days. So big-time changes headed our way as we kind of really kick things into gear here with spring around the corner. So Florida, cold front, cold front Florida. We're going to get to know this guy here pretty quickly as it just kind of will lead to some pretty active weather for a couple of days. We think we should get it throughout our region here by tomorrow afternoon and evening, but it's still just going to agitate our atmosphere enough that the umbrellas will be a good thing to have. Temperatures out the door right now, we've got 60s and 70s. You're thinking about 70 degrees for folks in Newport Ritchie, about 71 right now, Clearwater. So it's mild to start. Anything you're doing outside, just kind of keep that in mind. It actually feels pretty good. The humidity is not crazy high. The winds are blowing in from the south and they're basically about five to ten degrees we're going to shift the winds around tomorrow and that's what's going to allow things to turn fairly blustery during the day so rain chances it's not just going to be the rain and the clouds it's also going to be kind of windy too here's future cast temperature wise look, come look at this highs today very familiar very similar to yesterday with numbers probably getting into the 80s not a tall task considering we're like low 70s now so we should climb about 10 degrees or so but then you're out late this evening Grab a jacket, especially north of town. We'll start to feel a little bit of that breeze, and it's a cooler breeze as we shift our winds around out of the north. Now we've got 60s to the north, 70s. This is by 7 o'clock tonight, and that sets us up for a very chilly start to your Sunday morning with widespread 50s, and there will be some 40s to the north. And look at this. Numbers barely move. Highs tomorrow, low 60s, and that's about it. Uh, we'll have to kind of pay attention on the water winds shifting tomorrow. It's a small craft advisor that goes into effect this evening. It's tomorrow afternoon. Not a bad boating day. Just kind of keep an eye to the sky. Rain chance about 60% today, 40% tomorrow. Breezy both days and then dry much next week with temperatures climbing back into the 80s.